Well, that continues my tradition of uh, interrupted boss fights due to PC crashes after Yeez 8. I do not know what happened there. Uh, just an abrupt crash. Which, uh, obviously, is going to concern me. Concern me deep. Oops. Uh, please don't look at my emulator window. Please don't look. Uh, saved Saturday, February 15th. 25th. That would have been yesterday, so no. Yeah, that happened to me before without the emulating. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly went on there. But we are back for what that's worth. <laughs> and, uh, we'll just get this up and humming. Happily, I think I saved right before I came into the boss room. So, we're gonna make another run at that. Uh, as soon as I check my heat sink and get thermal glue on it. Yeah, um... We'll, uh, I'll, I'm gonna crack it open and give it, uh, some compressed air or something. Later, I think. Ah, uh, no save corruption. That's good. Alright. It looks like I'm right here. So... Let me just double check. Everything looks right. Let's get up there and get into it. Again. <laughs> I don't need to read the dialogue out again. Um... Hmm. I'm really gonna have to look into that. Yeah, round two. Oh, right. Blinking. I forgot. I forgot to warn people again. All right, let's get in there. Now I have a little bit of knowledge as to what to expect, at least. Uh, go ahead and drop the trimmer just because it's leveled. Athena, which head is MC? Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna hit me in time. Let's find the Feel the Earth's Fury! Well, I'm sorry, but Sue's dead. <laughs> Do slap. <laughs> I love the between frames in this so much. You'll never get away. Oh good, that's an AoE. That's an AoE. That's so good to know. Vertical. The recovery head. Do not allow that head to take actions. Like that head in particular. Head E, which is stun gas. That's gonna slow those two down. Uh, one of these heads is about to do a recovery and it's deep. And no, you're not, actually. That 
actually. Hmm. No, not quite fast enough. And it's an interrupt. Yeah, it's a cancel. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. You're move seal, aren't you? Ah, but You know what? Screw this head in particular. So. Yeah, I can only imagine if this were a serious fight. Alright, do your thing, Godwin. Oh, wind, blow him away! Come, power of the universe! Ha! Dragon King Slice! I might fight this one, uh, hopefully, uh, in Top Knock, but we'll find out. <laughs> and then he explodes. I'm sure I would have been able to do that on the first Like though. Master, like Man. Oh, my. That's some experience. We did it, Justin! Next, just pull out the Spear of Heroes! Out your butt! This is splendid, Justin. All that's left now is the final trial. That's right, all that's left is the final trial. What? That Monster Arts now wasn't the final trial? For seasoned warriors like us, something you can topple with strength alone can't be a true trial. That's true, my, du my dude. You are shaped like a giant Dorito. Nothing is gonna slow you down. From here is a place where men like you and me are tested. Let's go, Justin. Alright. Um... Is there any loot in the corners? Well, you know I had to check. Look at the button. Oh, am I gonna get shot with spikes? <laughs> Oh man, it's that one really annoying puzzle from Marathon. You gotta arrange them in the form of a staircase, and it takes forever. Still, I gotta admit, that was really cool. That was a cool layout. Cool mechanical design. Is it mechanical if it's stone? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's mechanical if it's stone. Typhoon Tower, the Room of Destiny. What's this? It's a dead end! Where's the Spear of Heroes? Justin, everything ends here in the Room of the Mirrors of Destiny. This room itself is the tower's final trial of the hero. Final trial? The trial is written on that stone tablet. You better read it, Justin. Ah, stone tablet, stone tablet. This one. I knew that. Hey, Godwin, it says something, but I have no idea what it means. The stone tablet reads, He who wishes to change destiny, choose either the mirror of the moon or the mirror of the stars. One leads to the future, the other to the land of death. Does that mean if you select the wrong mirror, you're gonna die? Did you know from the start, Godwin? Godwin is one man. He said he couldn't save Dite. Maybe this is what he meant. Don't worry, Justin. I won't let you die. I'll go into the mirror first. Wait a minute, Godwin. But what if you choose the wrong road? In that case, Justin, you go into the other mirror. It is certain to lead to the future.
had a very wild arms feel to the music. A very wild arm feel to the music. You fool, Godwin! I don't want to hear that. That would mean that you had died. Kidding, Godwin. Did you intend to do this from the very beginning? You were just passing through the Traveler and decided to help save our village. Your gallantry moves me. Don't make such a face. If I die, it will be up to you, Justin, to save Dite. Don't die, Godwin. Even if a man has to lay down his life, he must carry through. Godwin, surely you'll return. We're praying for the protection of the spirits. My name is Godwin! Stone Tablet of the Trial! I choose the Mirror of the Moon! Open up, Mirror of the Moon! Okay, cut off that last line. Farewell, Justin! Godwin. God Godwin, you're too wide for the fucking mirror. What happened, Godwin? Hmm. Huh. This won't work. This mirror is too small for me. I can't get in. Turn sideways. <laughs> Come on, Godwin, and I was so moved by your sincerity. This is no laughing matter, Justin. Now you have to go. That's what the stone tablet of the trial says. You must take this road. Uh, I understand, Godwin. Uh, my compass is just spinning in slow circles. What if I took this one? This is the Mirror of the Stars. Which path am I supposed to take? Well, Godwin took the Mirror of the Moon. I respect that. I will take... I can't take this. Okay. This is the Mirror of the Moon. It's the one that Godwin attempted to enter. Uh, alright. I'm gonna take the Mirror of the Stars. Because Godwin took the Mirror of the Moon. And I think we should do the opposite. Because he couldn't fit. Open! Mirror of the st Stop, Justin! Why did you do that, Fina? Justin, that's not heroic. It's foolish, both of you. Justin, why must you put your life on the line to rescue the people of Dyke? If you die, your adventures will end. Is that what you want? What are you saying, Fina? I have to go, or the people of Dite will all die. Are you saying that's okay? I will go. I will enter the mirror so you can all wait here, Justin. You're talking crazy. We wouldn't have you do such a dangerous thing, Fina. No, this is where an adventurer's experience and intuition come in. So, Justin, please let me go. I've got it, Fina. If that's so... Choose for me, Fina. I believe in you. The mirror you choose has got to be the right mirror. Justin? And I ask the same. Fina, show us the way. My name is Justin. Okay. Don't tablet the trial. I will now follow the lead of the spirits. It's no good. I cannot choose. If I'm wrong, I... Nina, I believe in you. It's all right. I believe in Fina's experience and intuition as an adventurer. No, more than anything, I believe in Fina. So stand up, Fina. Stone tablet of the trial. I will now follow the lead of the spirits. I choose the mirror of the stars. Open the mirror of the stars. I think this is one of those things where the fact that you are strong enough to make a choice says something about you, and it will, like, allow you to actually pass through. Whereas a lesser, a less sure person would simply despair at the idea of losing their life and, uh, not choose at all. Justin? Justin, you just have to come back. Ah, of course. Well then, Godwin, take care of Fina and Sue, okay? Rest assured. Everything in Dyke depends on you, Justin. 
Well, of course, you could be like Shadowgate and vaporize with you. Like, you really have to go, I choose the door behind the tablet. Go, this is the one that leads to the future. Once again, the road that Fina chose for me is the right one. No, I mean, the thing is, like... Opening a door and going through it is the road to the future. Looking at yourself in a mirror is the eventual road to death. Thank you, Fina. This is it. This is the spear. Here goes! Spear of Heroes is pulled out. What's this? What has happened? Oh no, this place is collapsing. I need to get out of here quickly. Collapsing. Whoops. Oh, well, you know, um... Supposing that this enchanted tower collapsed. Just been successfully put out the Spear of Hero. He is all the more a true hero. What does it matter? Justin, what happened to Justin? This isn't working. Only a few hours remain until the tower collapses. Bina and Sue, you go outside first. I will wait here until Justin returns. I hope the giant line over his armor is just an emulation artifact. Um, I probably should have tried to play this on real hardware, except I think the load times are part of what contributed me contributed to me not uh, finishing the game previously. No way, I will wait here. I won't be Justin, Justin, Justin. Tina, get a grip. Surely Justin is all right. I will stay. I made a promise to Justin. The two of us are in this together. It's inevitable. What are you doing, Godwin? Let go! Godwin is going to pitch them off the tower. Heroically. Or just sprint out the door with them. No, the tower is collapsing. Justin! Oh, we got anime mode. Start playing the theme. Come on. No? Okay. Justin. The wretched tower has left together with the light. Oh, Justin, have you left us too? Ugh. Why do you have to die? If I didn't have to take these two back, I would kill myself right now. Justin's not dead, you silly Godwin. Oh, come on, Godwin. At least look perturbed by that. Justin. <laughs> What's happening? What's that Justin? Light? What? Ow! Ow! Fell Justin! through time and space. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Are you kidding? I'm just fine. Almost. That's right. You're just the man I knew you to be. R really? Come on, Gadwin. 
You're gonna make me get embarrassed. Justin. Bina, how about that? I did it. Aren't you impressed? What? What the heck was that for? That is a beautiful face. Uh-oh. <laughs> Justin! <laughs> you fool! I... <laughs> Look at me! I'm crying! <laughs> you have no idea how worried I was. <laughs> Fina! Promise me, Justin. Promise that you'll never, ever worry me like that again. I... I'm sorry. I promise, I'll make never make you cry again. Men. I swear. Justin, you, you had me really, really worried. Hey, it stopped raining. Look, 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 everyone, over there, it's a rainbow. I'm sorry, this scene is way too heterosexual to generate a rainbow. Um, well, we successfully destroyed the tower. Good for us. Way to go. Anything in here? Oh, okay. Anything in here? No. I mean, I, I kinda... There was something in here. I don't know what it was, but it went bang. It must have been money. Uh, if it had been anything but money, it would have... Pulled this up, yeah. A demon amulet! Uh, resistances. Resistances are good. Here, Sue, so hold this. Well, we successfully knocked down the tower, and there's still a huge bubbling pit of poison. God damn it. Going in. Okay, how do I get back out? Oh no. Oh no, I gotta... I gotta walk it now. Don't I? I gotta walk it. Okay. It's fine. Let's, uh... It's free water experience. It's free water experience. That's... That's how we're thinking of this. This isn't me doing something incredibly stupid. It's just me getting free water experience. The poison leaves when you bring the spear back to the village. Okay, well... I can't wait, though. Money. Ah, this is too intense for me. No mana eggs or anything, though. I was paid for that water experience. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, that's fair. I don't know how to leave, actually. Where are you? Health weed! Um... I don't think I need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it! Oh, wait, wait. Use the compass. Use the compass. Yeah. Ooh, chest. Chest. I missed a chest. Ow. Plague resistant. Okay. A DSA charm. See, the problem is that usually I'm an idiot who sits here and plays with the L and R buttons. Like, because they don't do anything. 
or I thought they didn't do anything, and then I discover that, hey, they do stuff. So, you know... I'm not saying I'm bad at video games, but I'm bad at video games. I recognize that you all have made a choice in coming to watch me walk directly into ambushes and throw myself into poison lakes. And I appreciate that you've made the wrong choice. Oh boy, it's the plague! Just then, just set things on fire. Like, it is a pleasure to have all y'all here, and hey, uh, thanks for stopping by, Grandia fan. It was, like I said, it's a pleasure to have y'all here. Uh, I'm just, I'm just a dork. And hello, Fate Umso. Get stunlocked for a while. That being stunlocked never hurt anyone. and listen. Uh, by which I mean... Uh, first playthrough? It is... That's complicated. I got to a point beyond this, but I do not remember almost anything. Mushroom. Yeah, alright. Uh, that's worth keeping. Enjoy it! Well, I say completely, I know that there are optional dungeons, and I've probably missed a few already or something. Oh, the plague. Everyone dies at the end. Thank you, I'm dying. Forever. Only two out of four hundred. That is a bit of a surprise, but um, it does make things seem a little more manageable. I don't know how far in the game I am at all, actually. Uh, three optional dungeons, and they're all in the future. That's valid. All right, let's just cross the lake. We must escape. I'm kind of getting my butt bump. Hmm. I'm kind of getting my butt bump. Just beating the tower. Yeah, we just finished out the tower. It, uh... It was a struggle, not the least, because of be which okay. my PC managed to reboot in the middle. Which, in the middle of a boss fight, no less, which, uh... That was not a happy situation, but we got through it. Yeah, the Hydra rebooted my PC for me. Justin, please, I'm literally begging you to have higher experience. See my power! Hey, the power of your race, though! I'm about 20%... Yeah, I honestly expected about 40% of the way through the game, but, um, okay. 
so easy. So guys, we've got many weekends to go. Uh, I do play RPGs on the weekends. I play long form games ha! on the weekends. They are my medicine. Uh, on the weekdays when I play, I tend to play point and flick adventure games. I tend to play more uh, shorter, more focused games. And at some point, I will probably Not bad, eh? be playing more more action platformers because y'all seem to enjoy that last one. Way to go, Sue. Congratulations, you leveled up again. Um... I did download, um... Well... I did download, like, Mega Man X3 because we left off of Mega Man X2 and at some point that's gonna get played. Uh, right now, Silver Star is handling Ease 1 and 2, so I may do Ease Origins or Ease 3 sometime, both in Falgana. Not sure on that point. Uh, let's drop, let's get a quick recovery in. Oh, good, he's gone. I, I think I've got the mechanics down. I've been doing my best uh, level for uh, level for stats and level my magic at least somewhat decently. Uh, thank you for being spoiler conscious. Spoilers are tend to be an irritation. I'm steadily working up my magic, and I know that Justin is gonna need a lot more magic for what's to come. I gotta get back on leveling Mace, actually. Swap back to the Fire Rod for a little bit. Just a while. Um, Sue is in a fine place. Still need to keep leveling. Yeah, I am aware of skills and stats. I'm, uh... I'm doing my best on those. I've really got to keep leveling Fina with Earth. I've got to have her spam Earth magic for a while. Lodging the meals. Okay, recover. And let's talk to the Elder. See what he's got to say. If anything. Uh, Ease is a personal favorite series of mine. Ease, Trophy, I'm just a total Falcom mark, honestly. I love the works of Falcom so much. I love, uh, game arts a lot, too. I've played both Lunar games, and I will play them again. I haven't played them on stream. After almost clinic, no, I'm looking for... Elder's Hut, which is... Not here. It's over here with the big bowl. No. Uh, Lunar's pretty neat. Yeah, Lunar is... It is about the most grounded JRPG series. Still really fun. No. No, I know where it is now. I know where it is. It's uh, through here. Oh, yeah, we recently completed... It's the fish hut, isn't it? It's the fish hut. Yeah. I recently completed uh, Ease 8 on stream here. It was great. And he's not here! Ha <laughs> ha! A plus! Beautiful! My hopes were raised and dashed most expertly. But yeah, the two Lunar games on the PlayStation are among the finest out there. You know, it was my prayers that enabled you to come back alive from the Typhoon Tower. I was praying to the spirits the whole time. Protect the brave warriors of night. I'm sure you were, ma'am. Oh, it's you and Godwin too. It's you and Godwin too. A book for ages three and up. 
You've come back safe from the tower. It's wonderful, I've been very worried about you. What a relief you're safe. I mean, you were gone quite a while after the rain had stopped. Oh man, Eve Eight's soundtrack is glorious. Oh, you've returned, Godwin. When the rain stopped, I knew you must have succeeded. Now, Godwin, it's time to thrust that spear into the dragon's net. No, I'm afraid that is not for me to do. Listen, people of the Flying Dragon. The dark clouds are banished by the arrival of a hero, as in the legend. The hero's name is Justin. An adventurer who has come from afar, let us all praise his name. What? This kid did all that? A boy is now a hero? Elder, I told you at the beginning. There's no reason to scorn him because of his young age. Well, to the hero, Justin. To the dragon's nest with the spear. Only you have what it takes to do it. Hey, okay. Uh, the only series I played were Grandia, Tales of, and Final Fantasy. Yeah, I love the Tales series, too. I guess I've thrust the spear here. Okay, I'm ready. Into the dragon's nest. Weather control device activated. Coming online. No? Alright. Tales has good but also bad. Every series has good but also bad. I'm trying to appreciate everything for what it is. You know? Justin, thanks to you this village has been saved. Knock it off, Godwin. You're making me blush, you know I didn't do it alone. But Justin, I didn't do anything, really. It was you who did everything this time. But come on, man, you tanked with your enormous armor. I want you to accept this, Justin. It is a fitting gift for a brave hero, for the retriever of the spear. Mm. In that case, I will ask Athena to accept this armband. Huh? If Athena hadn't chosen that mirror, I probably would have been killed. I mean, I just entered the mirror with Athena that showed me the way. Justin? Him. It is as Justin says it was. So the armband is Athena's now. Well, okay. Thank you. Looks great on you, Athena. Thanks, Justin. Oh, there goes the heroic theme. So, brave hero Justin, what are your plans now? My plans? Well, of course I'm gonna look for Angelo. Some big ruins lie to the south. You told me about them earlier. Justin, I'm sure you've kept Liette waiting by dawdling around in all these affairs. Yeah, that scene where Godwin can't get past the mirror. He's like a big Dorito, this guy, so you would assume he could just turn sideways and squeeze in, but... <laughs> around here, they call those ruins the Twin Towers. I'll show you the way there. Oh, this wouldn't have gotten released after, like, 2001, would it? Mouth of Dite over the Llama Mountains is Gumbo Village. From there, it's a boat ride to the ruins. A boat trip? Sounds kind of hairy. No, it's not that far. Anyway, Gumbo is a warm and friendly village. Once you've arranged your boat trip, perhaps you'll have time to enjoy some local festivities. What? He said festivities. Let's go. Let's go right away. Who's ready to party? Well then, let's be off, Godwin. Ah, uh, to the Llama Mountains. A llama? We're supposed to be dead. Oh, I'm sure that this is where you're supposed to stop and grind a lot, but, um... Thank you, this is very helpful. Ah! Blah! Sure. Ah, uh, but yeah, I 
love the Tales series. I'm, I'm just an RPG fan. It used to be I would only ever buy RPGs because they're, um, they were the most cost-economical genre of game. You could play them for hours. For days. Burnout! Uh, oddly enough, I just got back into Octopath Traveler a little. I did not like it at first, but I'm enjoying it more with a bit of a, a revised set of expectations. Everybody had compared it to the Saga series, and the Saga series is one of my favorite series of RPGs, but it was nothing like that at all, actually. Oh, that's not doing any damage at all, is it? Uh, just like... Oh, good. There we go. Anyway, everybody, everybody had compared it to the Saga series, and, uh... It just wasn't. But I've kind of readjusted my expectations, and I'm enjoying it a fair bit more on a second run, on a second attempt. I don't know, sometimes I just have to take a while and let my initial impressions of a thing settle. Come, try again. Uh, as the Octopath Traveler. I think it's actually out right now. Um, I saw it listed on Steam, and I've seen a couple people triumphantly post pictures of their Switch boxes. So I can only assume the game is actually out. Uh, maybe just not in all regions? I don't know. February 24. Uh, good, good. Whoops, no. Alright, we'll fight him. We'll fight him. Wow. 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 I love these guys. Wow. Alright, do wind attacks work on what I got? I think that, oops. Oh, that was a big old cancel. That was a set of cancels, but like the witch I've Wind magic does impress them. Ah, I need the money. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Where that stack of games I would have if money were not an object. And, uh... I'm too honest to steal them. Go! Come, try again. Okay. If only it were possible to go out into the world and just kick slimes and bats until they give you their wallet. Eight family birthdays, my goodness. Some family. I am just slowly sliding down this mountain. Hello, what are you? Mr. Dirt Slot, okay. Alright. Here we go again. I had dribbles. Am I the The other ones were like slipples. These are gripples. Am I eventually just gonna be fighting nipples? 
We got the slipples, the gripples, the nipples. The fudge ripple. Good luck with the three-year-old. May your patience be everlasting. It's amazing, though. Uh... Grandia is clearly a draw for people. There's a lot of people out there who apparently have not seen this game in a while, and they're excited to get another look at it. I'm kind of delighted by that. This game means something to people, and I'm, I'm that makes me so happy, you know? This is a game that matters to people. But I don't need this object. Yeah. Good good luck and good not speed. Never knew how iconic Roddy was until the HD release. Yeah, I I was a Dreamcast kid. Um, I thought the Dreamcast was the greatest, grandest thing. Like the best system out there and honestly deep in my heart I still believe that I still have so much love for the Dreamcast but uh, that meant that I was on the hunt for every Dreamcast RPG every Dreamcast game that looked the least bit entertaining or good I was there um Evolution, Skies of Arcadia, Grandia 2, naturally. Grandia 2 turned out to be one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Elemental Gimmick Gear. A <laughs> good time for that link. Yes, that is a good time for that link, actually. By all means. I did play Grandia 3, and it was just not... 
It's the goal. I can't tell you that Gradia 3 felt like a bad game. Because it wasn't a bad game. But I can tell you that it felt like a game that had ideas that did not come through, come through to fruition. I feel like that game had so many thoughts and so much potential that just it never All right, we won. came together. And you know, I'd be happy to be wrong. Because uh, if we decide to go through the full Grandia series here on this channel, then eventually Grandia 3 is part of that series. Yeah, 1 and 2 are really thematic opposites. It's like... Um, idealism in one, and cynicism in two. But... I don't know, uh... Rydia 3 tried to... Uh, it felt like Salcom's Zway. Zway 2 which was all about the love of flight and the magic of airplanes and that was such a driving force in the protagonist's world of view and then suddenly on disc 2 that just vanishes and in fact a lot of things really just vanish on disc 2 like a lot of character a lot of characters a lot of motivation a lot of a lot of momentum and, I don't know, it's a game I wanted to love, and it, it fell through, kinda. Still, there's no reason not to try it here someday. I, for one, would love to be wrong. I would love to revisit Grandia 3 and feel it in my heart this time as I did with the first couple we'll find out someday I'm gonna have to live forever because uh, I keep get I keep having games to cover and you know what I'm okay with that oh wind blow him away I'm always on the lookout for my next favorite game. I'm always on the lookout for <laughs> Pretty easy. the next best game I've ever played, so to speak. I always... I always just want to fall in love with the game. And, uh... It can't always happen, but... There's no reason not to try. Oh, where am I? No, I'm in the North Mountains. Compass is pointing that way, so... Let's try. Sometimes you don't get the next best game you ever played. You get Siberia. Yeah, you know... Yeah, you do. Sometimes you just get something unexpected, something you didn't know you you wanted. The longest journey in particular has been uh, really surprising me. I've had a low opinion of it for years, and it's impressing me more the longer we play it. There aren't any monsters here, and we have good visibility. Let's camp here today. I agree with Godwin, I'm so tired. Now then, let's have Justin and Fina get us something to eat. Who will you help out here? Sure, that's great, we'll set up the tent. Let's do it, puffy. Poofy poof poof. 
A poofy goose poof poof poof. Poopo. Whenever I'm full, I feel tired all at once. Mina, no matter what you cook, it's always so delicious. Poofy poof. <laughs> You've eaten everything up. Thank you, Sue and Puffy. I help too, you know. We should talk about the land that lies ahead of us. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, what's the village of Gumbo like? Gumbo is a warm village facing the sea. Thanks to the nearby volcano, it feels like like spring all year. Though a coastal village like Dite, Gumbo is completely different. It's lively with year-round festivals. Gumbo is an intensely vibrant place. Wherever I go there, I feel irrepressibly cheerful. These camping bits are some of the best stuff in the game. Um, it reminds me of the party chat feature that they introduced in Dragon Quest. That, uh, or, you know, the Tales series and its skits. Uh, to me, these camping parts are part of what makes Grandia Grandia. Naturally, after going beyond the end of the world, from here we'll be traveling to lands not on the map. I didn't notice it until Justin said it, but this truly is an adventure. Uh, the private action in Star Wars 2, yeah. That's right, I'm glad you feel the same, Tina. Justin, what kind of place is the village of Gumbo? Let's have Godwin tell us all about it. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, what's the Gumbo Festival? Owing to the nearby volcano, Gumbo is always warm. Thanks to the volcano, the villagers celebrate often. They always have a positive outlook. They like to celebrate after the third meal, and they live for the festivities. <laughs> the festival sounds like fun. To me, festival and adventure are two words for the same thing. I don't think so, Justin. And the Twin Towers. I myself have not gone to the Twin Towers, but from stories I've heard it is situated west of Gumbo. However, the problem is that between Gumbo and the Twin Towers lies mountains that spew deadly poison gas. Consequently, the only way to reach the Twin Towers is from the Southern Sea. In Gumbo, we'll have to seek out a boatman. Alright. Oh, the village in Gumbo. It sounds like such a happy place. Sure does. It's just the place for Justin. Well, let's get off to bed. Once we leave here, our next stop is Gumbo. Good night, everyone. Sorry, um... I'm always reminded of... Hold up. I'm sorry, Colonel. The forces stationed at New Parm do not report having discovered Justin. No reports, you say. Trat, where did he disappear to? Have them continue searching New Parm. It's the end of the world. There is only one place for him to return to. Walking over the wall is impossible. Send the reports directly to me without going through General Ball. Do we tell him of the Spirit Stone? We have yet to obtain the Spirit Stone. Without results, do you think Father'd be happy to hear just a status report? Do you understand? Yes. Start the next operation now. There are still mysteries for us to solve. The mysteries of the Akarians. So, do we head east? Yes, to the ruins. Move up the final inspection of our ship, the Lion Lot. Lean will be on forced march starting again tomorrow. Rest up a little tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. But, uh, Syria... When I think of... wordy games... and, like, first-time things, I think of, like, you know... You put something together in RPG Maker, or the like, as... a proof of idea as something, you know, to get your brain flowing. I mean, a lot of people say that RPGs are too wordy nowadays, commercial RPGs, but for the kind of people who, 
for the kind of people who want that sort of thing. They're going to want the hell out of that sort of thing. Oh, you know? Like, you can't be... You can't have an RPG that's too wordy for me. For example. Ah, you know, I thought I could get by them. You can't have an RPG that's too verbose for me. As long as, as long as things are happening. Uh, I know Selene has some frustration with uh, the 999 series, for example. Repeating things over and over. Anyway, I know Celine has some trouble with the head, like, the shoes are bad, uh, but for a real diehard word head, you just eat that stuff up. I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is, I might be the intended audience. I don't think... I don't think that I could ever write an RPG personally. But I don't think I can write much personally. Look at Justin, like, hiding the back behind his head, shuffle stepping over there. Or hiding behind his back, I mean. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, I know someone who basically eh? uses my playthroughs as, like, a book on the I have no idea what they do with all the grammar and now. And that reminds me that someday... We're going through Famicom Detective Club 2. That had slipped out of my head. Completely forgot. We're gonna do it. So many games are slipping in and out of my head all the time. My head is a slippery place. But yeah, uh, the Trails series. Particular trail in the sky, uh, trail of the cold steel, etc. Oh man, am I gonna read the hell out of those someday? Could be someday soon. Oh no. Enemy in pursuit. Ice Stone, Steve's casting of spells. Alright, well you know what? Uh, Justin can crap out twice as much magic with that. And I think that's a good thing. Hmm. Three weeks till my stream anniversary! Oh no! Oh no! So on my stream anniversary... <laughs> on this game called Hypnosis. It is a point-and-click adventure. And boy, howdy. Uh, it is... It is a thing. And we're gonna play it, because I love... I love... I love hate that thing. I love hate that thing. I don't know if love hate is the right term. I adore it. Uh, it's bad, but it's good. But it's really bad. But it's... I don't know. It is difficult to describe. Anyway, 
away for my stream anniversary. All right, we won! I'm gonna do a full playthrough of that. With my voice. Uh, I have a full playthrough of it up on my YouTube channel. Right now, it is a full silent playthrough. I've never done a, I've never talked over that one before. Uh, can I just go back up? I, I think I should have stayed down. I've never talked over that one before. I, uh... Oh, that was the correct way to go. I'm in I'm Vegas. Anyway, it's... It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be great, and... Please look forward to- uh-oh. You okay there? Anyway, please look forward to it. Um... My only concern... Is that I absolutely know somebody is gonna see, like, hypnosis on Twitch. And we're gonna get some really freaking weird people coming in here. We're gonna get some real weirdos. And I delight, and, you know, weirdos are always welcome. But they're gonna be a different kind of weirdos than kind we of usually get in the thing. I know this is because my uncommented playthrough of Hypnosis on, uh, on YouTube uh, attracts some really... It's in the sidebar for a lot of things. A lot of things that you would maybe not expect on YouTube. You're no match for me. You know, um, I'm gonna stop digging on this one. A Titan Ring. That sounds nice, actually. Game's name suggests funny. It does. It does. What is a Titan Ring? Plus five attack. Why, yes, I would like plus five attack. Thank you very much. I could probably stop and farm those, but... Gumbo Village. Um, alright. I'll have to Gumbo Village. But I think... I, have to... I think this is about where we're gonna save and stop for the night, though. Uh, my throat is getting a little bit rough. As I mentioned earlier, I woke up with it all dried out. And it hasn't quite recovered. And I'd like to not... I'd like to not strain myself. I would like to not have, like, vocal polyps or something out of this. But I am looking forward so much to more of this game. This is the village of Gumbo. First, we must find a boatman. We have to go to Twin Towers by sea. From a white beach in paradise, a boat ride into an emerald sea of fine tropical breeze. Ooh, grr. Hey, it's cold. Didn't you see it's a warm village? And it's so quiet, I don't hear any festival sounds. The sound of waves is all I hear. Godwin, this isn't quite what I imagined from what you told me. Hmm. This is strange. The old gumbo had an entirely different atmosphere. Well, you know you can never make gumbo the same way twice. That bracing salt air is certainly that of Gumbo. It's a fishing village, but much different than Dyke. Really? Uh, uh, too. It's awful cold, isn't it? Let's hurry and go into the village. Come on, let's go. We have to find a boatman who will take us to the Twin Towers. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say... 
I am not gonna save, am I? I am not gonna be allowed to save right now. Excuse me, you there in the swimsuit? You know a boatman with strong arms? We wanna go to the Twin Towers. Eek! What is it with you? Don't get any closer. Huh? What's wrong with her? Why did she suddenly run away like that? Knowing you, Justin, you probably offended her. No, I didn't. What are you saying, Sue? Would I do something like that? <laughs> what are you so touchy about? Uh, but it was a bit strange. Look, there are people over there, too. Let's ask him about a boatman. Uh, yeah, in one of the buildings I can't, I can't get into these buildings. I think because there's still plot to see. So we're gonna see the plot. And then... Excuse me, we're looking for a boatman to take us to the Twin Towers? Huh? Whoa! It's an attractive girl! What? No, no! Oh, not a girl! You're a boy! That's right, a boy! A boy, I say! <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> hey, Fina, I think he mistook you for a boy. Yikes. Don't worry about it, Fina. From the moment I met you, I knew you were a woman. Uh, hey, that's rude, both of you. It's totally uncalled for. I don't understand what it is, but something funny is going on. Whatever it is, this is very strange. Anyway, it doesn't seem likely we'll get a boat to the Twin Towers. To a dining hall? Okay. Dining hall. And in here is... Oh, what a surprise! I haven't seen a customer for a long time. There are no customers in here. Perhaps you're not so popular? No, the Gourmet Frog Restaurant is a favorite dating spot for couples. We used to have them waiting in line. Well, since no one's here today, you can have the whole place to yourself. Sit down, relax. Oh man, the Gourmet Frog Restaurant. That meat has legs. Well, most meat has legs, actually. Never mind. Sounds weird as I thought. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try... No? Alright, I guess we have to do some more plot! Those armbands of yours. Are you a couple by chance? Matching armbands? A couple, right? What? No. Well, they do match, but... Yes, I am the frog sorceress who channels the frog god. My specialty is telling love fortunes. Would you like your fortune told? What about it? You have the time. Yeah, sure, why not? Ooh, I see it. Ooh. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbity, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. What's happening? Oh, excuse me, the frog god has come. Don't worry. Oh, ho, ho. How splendid! Suffering is where this love is headed. You are awaiting a great suffering. Up and down, but at least it won't be a boring love or it. Oh, excuse me. Did I miss the door in the houses? Um... Oh, yes! I did miss the door in the houses. Well, at least we got to talk to the frog god. What's that? This frog has such a funny look. <laughs> look who's talking. <laughs> Welcome, you're young and yet so daring. Well, anyway, would you like to stay the night? Uh, let's stay the night. Good, we have a first class room prepared for you. Relax and enjoy. And, uh, let's... Rock and save. It was good to have y'all here. It was good to be here. Uh, let's save over the night end. What I'm probably gonna do... If I can, and let me check if I can. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna walk back out of town, like, sometime during the week. And I'm gonna go off, and I'm gonna try to grind up Justin's fire magic. I'm gonna try to grind up, uh, Fina's... Earth magic a bit. Yeah, I'm allowed to go back to the Llama Mount. Okay, good.
So that's what we're going to do. I will end up with uh, some grinding done over the next several days. I'll see you back here over the weekend. Uh, I'll see you back here probably Monday or Tuesday to resume work on the longest journey. Mostly I'll just see you all back here later. And it's been a pleasure to stream for you. It's been a pleasure to uh, keep you company over the weekend. Thank you all for existing. <laughs> you know, like you can control that. And, uh, Twitch is actually refusing to load. I can't load the Twitch front page for some reason. So I can't really fend you guys off on anyone else. So, uh, I'm just gonna drop for now. Good night, goodbye, and good luck.